you guys, so I am back home in Canada and I cannot tell you how happy I am to be here. Um, I love Los Angeles and I love all my friends there, but uh, it was a really hard trip and it seemed like a really long time that I was there and just a lot of crap happened that I may talk about in my vlog channel if you want to go check it out. But anyways, I'm home and I'm happy and I'm here and I'm going to do tutorials for you guys. I got the Maya Mia palette in the mail today from Anastasia, so we're just gonna break right into that and I'll show you guys what it looks like and let's do it. Okay, so this is what the palette looks like. Very similar to the Amrezy palette in that it's a lot of neutrals with our kind of, you know, pops of color in here. Um, I really do like this palette. I think it's beautiful. Uh, they did a great job with it. Again, um, it just is going to be really versatile, and I like that there's just kind of every shade that you need. Like, you're not going to be reaching for a lot of other palettes with this. You have your lights, your transitions, and your darks, as well as your pops of color. So I do like it, and let's jump into it. So I'm just going to start by taking the Soeva 228 crease brush and the color Nude from the Maya Mia palette. And I'm just going to bring that into the crease. This is going to act as our transition shade so that it's easier to blend out dark colors later. Next, I'm going to take the color Warm Taupe on the same brush and I'm going to bring it into the crease again just to make it a little bit uh, deeper, you dig? So next I'm taking the color Deep Brown on this Sigma, what is this, E45 Small Tapered Blending Brush. And I'm just going to take that, turn my brush kind of upside down, ooh the lighting is going to make this all fucked up. Um, there we go, perfect. And I'm just going to take this kind of point and start to create almost like a soft cut crease with it. So basically like holding the brush kind of more like this instead of like this is going to make it a more harsh line and not get it all, you know, crusty over the lid here. You feel? You feeling me? Are you feeling me? Bringing that on to into the crease. And then I'm going to take the same brush we were using before and just kind of blend that out a little bit more. It's looking okay, it's looking all right. What do you think? Let's add a little bit more brown to that, shall we? We shall. Just going back in and adding a little bit more of that deep brown color to darken it up. So next I'm gonna take my black gel liner and just create a nice little wing here. And I'm gonna make this wing pretty dramatic because, um, well, because that's my whole steez. Now I must stay very still so you aren't seeing my forehead. Come on, Sam, get it together. So yeah, we're just creating our wing as normal, filling that in, making it all nice. Okay, so we are going to be doing a little bit of a glitter liner today, and how we're going to do that is using this Lit Clearly Liquid Glitter Base and their glitter as well. Um, so basically what I do is I just take this super fine brush, and I'm going to dip it into the liquid first and just kind of drain off. Um, the excess, and then I'm going to run it through the glitter, um, tap off the excess glitter, just let it soak on that brush for a little bit, and then we're going to go right in and apply it to the skin. So it's a little bit tricky at first to get the hang of, but you guys will get it, and it'll look really pretty. So I'm just picking up that glitter liner, and I'm going to run it along the black on the top. And this is not the easiest thing to get the hang of. Don't worry about the bottom of it getting on the black because we will clean that up later. But the top needs to be perfect and if it's not, the whole look will go to shit. Just kidding, it'll be fine. Carrying on here. Oh, we got a chunk. We got a chunky one. Oh, okay. It's under control. And 
we're just gonna relax while we let that dry. In the meantime, while we let that dry, I am just going to take the Sigma E20 short shader brush and the color, what color is that? Deep brown. And I'm going to bring it under the lower lash line. And we're just going to bring it basically to the edge of your inner iris area. Does that make sense? I don't know. But that's where we're bringing it. And then we're gonna take the color Fresh Peach. I feel like I can't say that properly on our E45 brush and just bring it in kind of near the inner corner. Not kind of, it's pretty damn close to the inner corner, I'd say. And then we're also gonna grab a little bit of Sienna and just kind of make that outer corner a little bit softer, shall we? We shall. So this next part is a little bit tricky, but don't worry, you can do it. We're just going to go over our liner basically and make sure that's all nice and cleaned up from that glitter. Just going over it here and don't be afraid to continually like you want to keep picking up product so it's fresh product going over that and also make sure to wipe off your brush so that it's not picking up so much glitter after because it'll basically pick up the it'll pick up the excess glitter when you're running over top of it so make sure that you wipe off your brush in between strokes so next I'm just going to apply my false lashes and I'm using Camilla from Flutter Lashes from this so, oh, the lighting's gonna be screwed up. There's no way around it. Sorry, guys. Just gonna pop those on there. So that is the final look, if you ask me. So that is everything, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this look and learned something cool today. I chose to pair this with a kind of peachy lip to play off the peach tones in the eye and just kind of like a neutral contour and a lot of highlight because you know I like my highlight. Anyway, that's that, you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think in the comments below and I'll get back to you. Let me know as well if you want to see any more looks with this palette or any other palette for that matter. Okay, peace out.